six rep should be hop, hop, arc, arc. So that's a D to the D. And then this goes again. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, this is time for a recap. Today, we took on timbres and lyrics. And we started with timbres. And timbre is the character or quality of a musical sound or voice distinct from its pitch and intensity. And it comes from the Greek word for drum. Uh, this may lead to adjusting rhythms, and it may also lead to balancing qualitatively and figure adjustments. And what we ended up actually doing was, uh, let's show the mixer real quick. We changed the melodic rhythm from a grand piano to a trumpet up here. And we changed the bass chord arpeggios from a grand piano to a clarinet. And we had to adjust a couple things for that to work. We had to uh, make the melodic rhythm much softer than the original version. In the original version, uh, if we solo the melodic rhythm, oops, and the uh, bass arpeggio, this is what we heard. And now we're hearing and so you can see that those are much uh, different and uh, that's the timbre difference. So what we're going to do is play the we're going to play what we've done today. So the drum, we're not hearing any drums and we're not hearing any passing chords. All we're hearing is the melodic rhythm and we're hearing the bass chord arpeggios. And the melodic rhythm is now being taken by the trumpet and the bass chord arpeggios are being taken by the clarinet. We also adjusted the melodic rhythm to have more sustained notes because it turned out that the trumpet had a night uh, the qual the timbre the quality of a trumpet uh, allows sustained notes to sound nicer in some sense than the piano sustained notes and it just felt better so let's listen to ballad and variations in c full tonality the timbres model to date trumpet and clarinet <laughs>
So, ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you for your time and attention. Uh, we will see you in the next stream. And as always, keep on streaming.